We got Iceman, Blizzard, Mr. Freeze, Frosty the Snowman, all out of the package. And uh, he doesn't come with any accessories. He just comes with a build a figure piece. He comes with the Hulkbuster chest and it actually comes in two pieces, which I didn't push it together. because I think it's going to make it easier to attach the interior part two. So once you get the bottom, you connect it and then you can pop on the limbs and stuff. But pretty cool stuff. So I'm glad I got that. And then we dive right into the figure itself. The figure is not horrible. I mean, this is a, uh, I think we did get a reuse of this head on the Moon Knight figure. Um, the head sculpt looks pretty good. Cast it in that uh, pearlescent blue, metallic blue, whatever you want to call it. Crazy marbleization in the head. Um, and then you got the white painted on there. And that little corner piece isn't painted very clean. Um, but hey, it's all right. It's a figure I didn't really care for. He is a little bit loose in the abs. Um, but as we're looking at the head, he can look down quite a ways. He can look back all the way. It's a really good head movement. It's quite loose. Um, but that's not a bad thing with this. It's not like it won't hold his position, which is great. Arms go up. It's got that ball joint. Come on, guys. With the, oh, this one's got It's all clicky. And then you got the bicep swivel, double jointed no notes, double jointed elbow. Why did I say notes? That's weird. Um, and then wrist bend, wrist rotation, very, very poorly painted seams. Um, even the shoulder looks nasty. But uh, eh, it wasn't a very costly figure, so can't complain too much so it's same articulation on both sides it's ab crunch goes down this far goes back this far waist rotation this is all casted in white plastic painted on this one Looks like there's some spots inside some of these muscles that didn't really get painted and then uh he can do the splits this far no van damme splits and he can do a Spartan kick. He can actually kick a field goal. Um, and he has the thigh swivel, which cuts the sculpt. But it's all blue, so it might blend in a little bit easier. Double jointed knee. The boot swivel. Um, and it's nice that it's cut before the boot, but it does break the sculpt up. But this could be a little bit acceptable. I can't, I can't accept the paint. Like The paint just doesn't match the plastic at all. You can sort of see it. They tried but it does stand out. Um, and then you get the wrist or wrist bend, the ankle bend and pivot. Uh, this figure, I mean, I wish it came with some accessories, like some effects and stuff like that, but how he looks, um, I dig it. I really do. Like he's not the, you know, probably the most popular figure out there, but he does look <laughs> pretty menacing. He looks like he could throw down a little bit. Stay in there, man. So, let's so one lean back. There we go. Oh, well, he did a flip forward. But, oh, so now when I set it up, he wants to... There you go. But, yeah, I mean, it's the Blizzard. I mean, you can get him pretty expensive. He's worth having. He looks good. It's a cool-looking figure. Um, pretty, pretty basic of a figure, in a sense. Um, but you get that Hulkbuster piece in there, so you got to have... Uh, that piece to complete the Hulkbuster and honestly getting him was cheaper than probably buying the piece separately off of another collector. So that is my unboxing and review of Marvel's Blizzard from the Hulkbuster build a figure wave. If you like what you saw, hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, I want you guys to have the best luck hunting, keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.